Hey everybody, got another uh, cool instrument here. This is a Pete Hilton four string. They uh, can call it a rainbow bass almost because of all the uh, rainbow of laminates that's actually on the, on the top. Impressive instrument really. Um, this, this bad boy's got a mahogany core, including a mahogany neck. With uh, looks like Paduk on either side, on the edges. Nice jet black ebony fretboard. It's got true uh, handmade feel going on. Uh, a lot of love went into this instrument for sure. Um, passive electronics, uh, volume, volume tone, and uh, we've got a switch for either it's uh, it's kill, so it's three position, kill for completely off. Uh, straight out for on and then uh, uh, down for a low pass filter. Make it sound a little more uprighty. Bass is uh, obviously neck through as well. And that incredible construction and the awesome Paduk neck pocket. Yeah, this is uh, very much inspired by um, Pete Tilton's. Uh, workmanship under uh, Carl Thompson, really. He uh, works out of California now. Um, worked with Carl up till 2013, I believe. Uh, this is these are fairly recent builds. I've got this one and a, uh, a th this is a 34 inch um, four string, and there's a sister fretless of uh, this one, except it just has a green um, highlight accent coming around. The whole body and that particular one's 32 inch scale it's really really great basses both of them very cool in fact to tell you what they really uh, kind of speak to me like they almost sound like a wall um, even in it's the same kind of nature as a, a, a Carl Thompson as well uh, pickups are um, Kent Armstrong very nice mid-rangey sound I, I really like them they're good like this is a highly cutting bass and of course, look at that. Just amazing harmonics. And I think that's attributed to a lot the fact of how thin. Um, Pete builds his bases, and this I think you know comes back from the inspiration from Carl Thompson bases because they're built somewhat the same. Because most builders never, never get that thin per se. So I think there's a lot of any of the vibrational content that goes to the pickups, which some people it's a there's two camps of this where people just think the pickups create all the sound, and I admit, yeah, electronically that's that's right. But I also feel that there is an effect of the actual woods because otherwise bases would all be built from the same type of wood you know like we wouldn't have a variety like we do and they wouldn't all sound in a, a different sort of way i know even pickups can actually vary in sound too so not to get into that debate but this is how this bass sounds as is pretty cool sealed cabs. It's a very immediate bass response. Uh, no extra uh, crazy resonance from a port or anything like that, but that's my thinking. That's what I like. I like the style of a sealed cab. Mm -hmm. 